started Black Girls Run in 2009. At the time, we were just talking about the uh, lack of diversity in distance running. So we decided to, to blog about it, and that was when Black Girls Run was born. I think it's extremely <laughs> important to work out if you're in a relationship, if you want to stay in a relationship. But here's the um, thing, there's a double standard. Like, I feel like, and we've talked about this before, like, women always want this diesel guy, but then we're like, but we don't want to go to the gym. You need to bring something to the table. Um, <laughs> I think there's, we get this all the time, and it's like, women are like, well, black men like big women. And I was like, no, I think they like, thick or curvy women, like yeah. a video model, not like 300 pounds. And so it's like finding that balance, like that right. can no longer be an excuse. Like I'm saying big for black men, like they don't want that. Sorry. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> if anything, you have to be, also be healthy for your family. So yeah. it's like if you're, you know, dealing with medical issues and, you know, cooking food for the family that's making them sick, um, you know, it's not good for anybody. Yeah. There are a lot of very supportive husbands yeah. and boyfriends. Um, they're willing to take the kids. They're like, babe, I'll watch the kids. You go run, whatever that looks like. Just really supportive and wanting to make sure that you have the time to get things done. You know, even like husbands have changed their diets. Like if she's a pescatarian, now he's a pescatarian. So I think it's just all about working together. Um, even, you know, families that work out together now. So if Sunday is everyone gets on their bike and we go for a ride, um, then that's what we have to do to work out as a family. I read this really good article that you should date like a white girl. And you know, it was it was advice for black women because they're like, black women are typically uber like selective. Oh. Um, and they're like, I have this type, he needs to be six feet tall, he needs to be chocolate, he needs to make $100,000 a year. And it was like, you really need to give a bunch of different guys a chance. And so that was what I, I like, once I read that, I was like, you know what, that's so good. I've dated, everything under the moon. Right. Um, and then even with my husband, I was at first I was like, ooh, he's on the skinny side. I usually date like big running backs and you know, we married. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. I think you find your mate where and when you're least expecting. Yeah. So I think it's like a lot of people are not giving more men a try. They're not dating outside their race. They're not dating, you know, different, you know, socioeconomic levels or whatever that is. And, and you can't emasculate a man. No. You can't do that. Don't do it. You want to pick up these boxes? Oh, honey, that's perfect. Go ahead. You're so strong. Yeah. <laughs> it's really easy to uh, become a part of Black Girls Run. We, we wanted it to be accessible to everyone. We didn't want to create any barriers. So you literally just go to our website, blackgirlsrun.com, find a group in your area, see what runs work for you. There's usually some happening in the morning and the evening, just depending on um, what time of day works best. And then you just go out and join them. I joined Black Girls Run initially because I was looking for a motivator. Black Girls Run is very, very motivating. It's just a huge group of black women that come and cheer each other on and they're all about fitness and just being healthy. You don't even have to be a size two, but it's just about being healthy and motivating each other. So I came out just looking for a positive group to interact with, something that I could say, okay, every Tuesday I have to do this. Um, prior to being in Black Girls Run, I could not run consistently. Um, if there wasn't like, or work out consistently, or just even just have like a healthy mentality of lifestyle. I love most there are no women left behind, and that at the end of every race or every run, there's always people there cheering you on. Sometimes they come back and run the rest of the way with you, so it keeps you from giving up and makes me feel like, okay, I really am a runner. Every night before we take off for a run, we like to raise our hand and we say, I am a runner. So we all say that together and it just reminds us that we two are in this, we're motivating each other and we say, I am a runner. I'm Ashley Hicks. And I'm Tony Carey. And we're, and we're the, the founders, founders of Black Girls Run. We made our bold move. When are you gonna make yours? I am, am, am.